Hi everyone, welcome to Dataverse Academy. In today's video, I will give you an overview on Microsoft Fabric Data Warehouse. Then we will learn how we can create a data warehouse in Microsoft Fabric. So let's get started. Microsoft Fabric Data Warehouse is a cloud native, massively parallel processing data warehousing solution designed to handle vast amount of data while delivering exceptional performance and scalability. It's a part of the broader Azure Data Warehouse family catering to the needs of organization dealing with big data and complex analytical solution. It is integrated with the different components of Microsoft Fabric like data pipeline, data flow, lake house, power bi and other components as well. It is highly scalable and provide high performance integrated with Azure ecosystem and it's provide query optimization. As you can see in our data warehouse, we can take the data from different sources like structures, semi-structures through data pipelines and data flows, as well as we can mount it with others data warehouse and lake house within our workspace. Once we loaded the data into our data warehouse, we can transform it through T-SQL procedures. We can also provide the data to other data warehouses, data marts, and also you can develop the Power BI reports over it. Now let's create data warehouse in Microsoft Fabric. Log into your Microsoft Fabric account, then click on Microsoft Fabric, then click on your data warehouse, then click on workspaces. Here click on your workspace then click on new and choose data warehouse click on it then provide the name for your data warehouse then click on create our data warehouse is created successfully So here you can see we have schemas and then we have security folder. So you can create your schema, then under that you can create your tables, procedures, functions, triggers, all other entities. And if you assign some roles to the different users, those will come under the security. I'll explain each and everything in other videos. This is just an overview of how you can create a data warehouse. Thank you for watching this video.